Hello, everybody. Welcome to Townsend 505. Welcome to the channel if you're if you're new, or welcome back if you're a lovely subscriber. And today I'm going to be continuing my top 100 albums list. And today is going to be number 69, Face to Face by The Kinks. So uh, now, now I'm talking about my fourth favorite Kinks album. Yeah, I mean, I love this album. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't guessed already, uh, if you watch my series with Jason. Uh, which, by the way, shout outs to my friends who watch my videos and um, shout outs to Jacob and Jacob Martin and Ryan Kim, especially for listening to the albums I've been posting up on my top 100 albums. But again, shout outs to you guys there. Going back to what I was saying, me and Jason did a full on kink series. Uh, if you watch my review on this album, I'm very highly on it. So, again, I, it's just such a great album. and. I'm very excited to talk about it. This album was released October 28th, 1966. So, yeah, this was this was released uh, sometime a little a little after Revolver was made. So, that was like the big album of 66. So, yeah, this album coming out and it's very Britishy, very 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 Britishy, and well, I love this album. So. As you can tell, I, I'm a big fan of it. But this is this kind of uh marks a change in their discography because those first two to three albums that the Kinks made were more hard rock and more more bluesy, uh, I'd say. And after after King Controversy. Or sometime in between King Controversy, the Kinks were banned from America. And after that, Ray Davies kind of decided, you know, I'm going to start going for more Baroque pop, more – let's – because a big, th big thing in America was blues rock. And not, not that they were banned from America, Ray Davies decided, now I want to do what I want to do now. And – well, he made this album. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into the review. So we open up the album with Party Line. And what I like about Party Line is that it opens up with phone ringing. And then it's like, who's that Who's that speaking there? And then it goes right into the song. Bam, 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 bam. I'm on a party line, wondering all the time who's on the other end. You have uh, Ray Davies and uh, Dave Davies singing together, so I thought that was pretty, pretty uh, fun. Uh, really, really, really good song. Uh, Rosie, won't you please come home? This is a beautiful song. Uh, you really hear Ray Davies at his fullest on this song. Rosie, won't you please come home? Mama, don't know where you've been. Beautiful. You get a lot of broke pop on this album, and I love it. A dandy, nice, cool acoustic number uh, that the Hermits Hermits would end up making a pretty big hit for themselves. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, which version do I prefer? I'd say I'd like. I'd say I might prefer a Hermits Hermits version slightly more, but it depends on which one I'm in the mood for. Too much on my mind. This is an even better song. Uh, too much on my mind, and you won't but notice how I feel about it. About it. And you hear the the harpsichord in. Oh, it's a beautiful song. It's always been a song that I really loved. Session Man. This is another one of my absolute favorites from the Kinks. Uh, he's a session man. A chord progression, top musician. He's not paid to think, just play. <laughs> very, very under, very, it's kind of like a, it's like they're, it's like he's attacking the Sashi Man, but I don't know. It's just, I, I still think this is a fun song, though. Uh, Randy Damon, Randy Day in June. Uh, not like one of my favorites on the album, but I think it's a pretty fun song. Uh, House in the Country. Again, it's another song that I really enjoy, but it usually it's it's last place on the album ranking for me. Um, Holiday and Walkie, it's one of my favorites on the album. 
you have the you have these guitars very it sounds like they're playing a sitar it's not a sitar but it has like that they're trying to go for the style of the sitar and i really enjoy it uh most exclusive right is residence for sale another one of my absolute favorites on the album most exclusive residence for sale ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Oh, another really fun song on the album. Fancy. This does have a sitar, and I think it's one of the best songs on the album. Uh, it's not, it didn't make my top five, but it was really close to making it. It's such a great song. Uh, Little Queen, Little Miss Queen of Darkness, I think is pretty cool. Uh, You're Looking Fine, the Dave Davies sunk song, and I think it's a fun song. Yeah, it's not like one of my top favorites on the album, but I think it's really nice. Uh, you're looking fine. You're looking fine. <laughs> uh, Sunny Afternoon. I mean, it's an iconic song for them, and it's such a good song. Uh, a lot of great lyrics to it. Uh, my girlfriend's driving with my car. All in bar. Left in my cool teas. Now I'm sitting here, sipping that my ice cold beer, sit lazing on a sunny afternoon. Uh, I can't sail my yacht. He's taking everything I got. <laughs> really fun song. Uh, I'll remember another one of my absolute favorites on the album. Uh, it's such a it's like an album full of great pop songs. I mean, there's a couple of rock songs like House in the Country is like the definitely the most rocking on the album, but I love this album. It's such a good album. Uh top five. Number five, I'll go, I'll remember. Number four, too much on my mind. Number three, Ho holiday in Waaki. Number two, most exclusive residents for sale. And number one, session man. And, of course, if you have any thoughts and feelings about this album, drop it below in the comments. I always appreciate looking at comments and replying to them. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. So long.